Hey everybody, it's Kevin Flat Boudreaux. I'm just sitting here in front of my office. It's Friday. Um, had a great last 24 hours, sold two life policies and about five other policies. So decided to make this quick little video uh, about goal setting. I'm really trying to do my best to get it out before the new year. That's my main goal in life right now. So I'm thinking with some focus I should be able to do it. And that's kind of the idea behind goal setting is just focusing your attention on what's most important to you. So don't set your goals based on, on what other people want you to do. You need to take time and decide what you want to do and that will help you have success. I believe that setting goals helps wire your brain to make decisions that will help you solve the problems and, and reach your goals. So make sure to write your goals down. I would recommend at least reviewing them once a week but honestly I would take a look at your goals every single morning and every single night. I would go over in the morning what you plan to do that day to make sure those goals are achieved and also at night think back on your day and what you could have done better to reach those goals. Don't think real negative about what you what you've done bad. Like for instance, I'm going to try to stop to stop biting my nails. I'm not going to just like beat myself up over biting my nails. I need to think of a solution to not bite my nails. So, be it picking up a book and and reading so I don't do it, keeping finger fingernail clippers on me at all times just so I can never have the opportunity to bite my nails, I just keep them so short that I can't do it. But that's that. I also want to go over the idea behind, um, it's an acronym SMART, basically it's for goal setting. You need specific goals, so just you wouldn't say, oh I want to get in shape. You would say, oh I want to be able to run a mile in seven minutes by this date. So you want to be specific. It should be measurable. Like again, you can't just have a general, I want to do this, I want to lose weight. And you need to say, I want to lose this much weight by this date. Or I want to be playing this stakes of poker by this date. In order to do that, I'm, I'm willing to do this. And talk about how much time you're willing to spend each day to achieve your, your success that you're hoping to get. Uh, where are we? Did measurable. A is attainable. You want to you want it to be realistic. Like I'm not going to set a goal to go out and run a four minute mile. I just I don't think I can do it. I I know I can't. But on the same token, there's this great GSP quote that I I just read that says there's no worse thing in life than setting your goals too low and achieving them. So make sure that they're difficult enough that you're really going to have to put in work. Like some of my other goals, I plan on learning one Mandarin Chinese word a week. So. I think it's attainable. I know what I'm willing to do to, to learn it. Um, I'm also going to learn one new English word a day and try to increase my vocabulary. Uh, what are some of my other goals? I want to sell one life insurance policy a week, which I don't think will be hard as long as I'm focused. And going back to the smart idea, we should, I think we're on R, which uh, relevant. You don't want to set a goal that contradicts one of your other goals. You want to set goals that are going to help you out. So you got relevant and then time dependent for, for the T. You want to you want to set a time deadline for this. You don't want to just say, well, I'm run, I want to run an eight minute mile. You want to say, I want to run an eight minute mile by this date. In order to do this, I'm going to run five times a week in the mornings uh, and increase the amount of, of work I do each week. So there's some ideas. The other thing I want to talk about is your past versus your current self. Uh, basically it's the idea between these two opposing people pulling in different directions and what they want. Uh, think about it in the terms of, of saving money. If you save a lot of money right now, you may not be as happy as some, somebody that's making money and spending it and enjoying themselves, but when you're older you're going to be happy. And if you spend all your money now you'll be happy, but when you're older you're not going to have enough money to live so you'll be sad. So it's kind of in finding that balance between how happy you want to be I guess. So you need to set your goals uh, so that your, your future self will be happy and you, you don't want to compromise your current self's happiness either. So that's why a lot of my goals are health related, uh, artistic related, things that I know I will enjoy that I just I look back and say, man, I wish I would have spent more time doing that. Well, this is my opportunity to change that. So by telling myself I want to learn one piano song a month, that's going to force me to sit on my piano and learn how to play a song. Uh, I've had this piano for like three years now and I was very embarrassed to go out to Connecticut. Uh, my grandpa actually had the same exact piano. Um, I told him about it and he, he asked me to play a song and I couldn't play anything for him. Couldn't play a single song uh, just because I haven't touched the piano in over a year. So 
pretty embarrassed about that, but gonna gonna fix that. And then one of the last ideas I want to share, it's kind of an original idea I had between uh, people and goal setting, that they're very similar to the different kinds of boats in an ocean. Um, you have just the people that are the jet skis. They're just having fun. They're not really worried about where they're going, if they can bring people on the jet skis with them. They're just, they're doing their own thing. They're having a lot of fun. You have like the cruise ship, which is just tons of people going along for the ride. Don't really have any idea of where they're going. They just, they think they're going to be going to this nice destination, have a lot of fun. But in reality, they're just kind of drifting along and other people are in charge. Uh, you have the people that are sailboats. I think those are, represent the planners in the world. People that they have to know to use their resources around them and to have a purpose and a direction. Otherwise, you could leave yourself stranded in the middle of the ocean. So that's just the idea. I, I kind of like picture all these different kinds of boats as people like the, the laziest people are just the buoys in the ocean. They're just sitting around, bobbing around, uh, not really doing too much, not going anywhere. And I think that's actually what most people are. I think they're buoys. I think they're just, they're out there doing nothing. And I think if they just had an idea of what they wanted in life and they actually decided what they were gonna do to get those things, then I think they'd have a lot more success. So that's with me. All my goals kind of go into how much time I'm willing to spend on these different things and what I expect to get out of them. So I'm really interested to see what you guys have set for goals. Uh, post them in the comments below. We'll come back to this, we, maybe maybe every month we can look back on the goals and see how everybody's doing. And then at the end of the year, we'll, we'll have a really good opportunity to go back. And I know I have a lot of subscribers that always like to leave comments, so this is the perfect time. Leave your, leave your goals. And everybody that, that puts their goal down and they keep to their goal for the year, uh, we'll have some kind of free roll tournament. We could run it on PokerStars Home Games if we need to. Uh, just a free roll. I'll uh, put together a few prizes for the top few spots. but. I want your participation, I want your help. Uh, I believe we can all help each other be accountable for our goals and really spend a lot of time thinking about what you want to set your goals in. It can be education, physical and health. It could be your career, it could be your family. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a lot of things you can set goals for and I think each individual should have kind of a different idea of what their goal should be because different things will be important to them and their happiness. So I really hope this helps guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Try to clarify anything. If you liked it, give it the thumbs up. If not, give it the thumbs down and let me know why. All right, guys. Talk to you later.